Since the day you were born, you are basically told to be a good boy. Oh Timmy, if you do this, I will buy you a lollipop. And you do it. And then your father tells you, if you give him his coat and actually be a good boy for the rest of the day, that he will buy you that favorite toy of yours. You do it again. Oh Timmy, grandma wants to sleep a little bit, so if you could let grandma rest for a little bit and just be a good boy for the rest of the day, I will bake you a cake. And you do it. Everything that has been presented to you in life with some kind of reward, you do it like a mindless little monkey. But what if somebody didn't actually hold on to their promises? What if your mother never bought you the lollipop, nor your father bought you the toy, or your stupid grandma? She never even made bread, let alone cake, inside her life. What then? Whose fault is it? Theirs, right? You should be angry at them and call them names, right? Well, of course it's theirs, but this cute little story that I just told you about this kid goes on and shapes everybody's life nowadays. Basically, you may have had a first head experience this, or you may have seen it onto other people's ends. Basically, there is this father and mother that end up having five children on their own because they were conditioned by their parents to have as many children as they have because that's how life works and all of that but they are not even able to provide for their children so at the end of it one of them dies before it's even born and if they decide to take care of them and not leave them in a trash container they will quote unquote take care of them but in reality they are starving every single day this father goes on and tries to get some food back for his children but at the end of it he's so damn undisciplined with this he's so damn stupid bro that he doesn't even end up getting enough food for himself let alone for the children about a month later one children passes away because of starvation and then another month later you yourself the father don't even have food to eat because now you started smoking and drinking. And whose fault it is? Oh, it's certainly not yours, bro. It's not your fault. It's their fault. It's your wife's fault. It's the government's fault because they don't give enough welfare. It's your wife's fault for not being able to hold a job because she has such a, he has so, so much free time because she only takes, she only takes care of your children. She only raises your children. She is only awake. 22 hours a day and only gets 2 hours of sleep, only that bro, only that, 8 hours of work every single day, what would that do to her bro, come on, she is strong, she is strong, but what about you, you will just sit there, smoke, drink, and that's it, nothing else, whose fault is it, not yours bro, it's everybody's fault, but not yours, and so many people are following this life, so many people are doing this same thing that I currently described you, it literally disgusts me, disgusts me to my core, is basically a recipe for disaster, a recipe for hell, so it's time to stop this. Part 1. Acknowledging your mistakes. The beauty behind this is that after you make a mistake and you actually acknowledge it, you will never make the same mistake again. After I hit myself on a place where it actually hurts with this cup, or if, if, or if I put it on the edge of the table and it actually falls down and spills, after I do that bro, and I acknowledge the mistake, I will clean up my mess and I will know to never do that again after I acknowledge it. You literally grow so much as a person after you acknowledge your mistakes in business, in work, in real life, in purpose work, in everything you do bro, in fitness. After acknowledging a mistake, you literally save yourself a pain. You save yourself of so much struggle. Struggles that you will be constantly repeating, like hitting your head against the wall so many times even though you know it hurts but you still do it because why not you will save yourself from that if you acknowledge your mistakes sometimes it's even better to make a mistake than actually have a success firsthand because if you have a success firsthand and then have the failure later how will you deal with it you may have it harder but now if you have the failure first and then the success later, you will feel super proud for being successful. And if something like this happens again, you know what to do now. You acknowledge your mistake and you know how to avoid it and actually fix it to be successful again. Acknowledging your mistakes is something that school, that parents never taught you. Literally inside my school, I have only heard my teacher once say that you should accept your mistakes and never again and you can bet that for a fact nobody even took her seriously because everybody in the classroom never they would get asked oh did you do this trouble 
No, my brother. And if you were home, if you were a single kid, only then, bro, only then you could have some kind of peace. But even I, bro, even I kind of lied. Even I, whenever my mom would say, okay, did you do this? I would be honest and say, no, sometimes. But sometimes I would literally say, oh, I, uh, this guy came to our house and uh, he did this and uh, that. And, oh, oh. It, it's not my fault. It's his fault. It, it's not my fault. He deserves the punishment, not I. I didn't acknowledge my mistakes. And I regret it. And you may regret it as well. So it's time you start doing this because the more you acknowledge them, the more knowledge you are basically serving yourself up on a silver platter in front of yourself. The more mistakes you make and the more you acknowledge them, the better you will be in life overall. Part two. And how does this exactly help? In many ways. It basically first gives you the growth of an actual man, the growth mindset. The most powerful mindset that you could have upon this earth. And then second of all, you start being responsible for your own mistakes. You now know how to fix these mistakes. And now you are actually responsible for fixing, for fixing them. Even though in reality, maybe they weren't even yours. Maybe the waiter spills the food all over you or all over the floor. Maybe somebody else ends up breaking a glass in front of your table. And now there is this mess that you have to wait to be cleaned up in order to continue with the conversation. But once you develop the skill of solving the problems and solving the mistakes, then you won't wait for anybody to give you the money. You will take it yourself. You won't wait for the waiter to start cleaning. You will go ahead and help him out, bro. And you won't wait for this guy to clean up his mess that he made. You will go ahead, tap him on the shoulder, reassure him that it is all right and help him out. And as a result of this, you will think that they will look at you and You want something out of me. I see. I see you. I see you. You want something out of me. That's why you're helping me. I see. Or are there going to be somebody very kind spirit that will tell you? Wow. Thank you. You can probably guess which version most humans are. Yet so many people end up doing the complete opposite. But I'm recording this video for the people that are willing to take my advice. This is specifically for you, my friend. For you. Because you need to know without this trade, without this character trade of acknowledging your mistakes and actually doing the right thing after them, whether being yours or not, you will never have success inside any business inside your life. Without that, you will never have success in anything inside your life whatsoever without this specific characteristic trait you will never have anything whatsoever worthy of living for inside your life your family your friends your business what friends what family what friends bro you don't have any of them you may have a wife right now but she is basically sucking somebody else off while you're not home because she doesn't enjoy the presence of you so that is the reason why should you acknowledge your mistakes? To not lose, to win. To not go back, but to progress. And whenever God decides to rain opportunities, up, or opportunities upon you, you are not this guy that waits for somebody else to build the pool for him and opens up the umbrella himself. No, he gets his hands dirty and he builds the pool himself in order to collect the rain. And he throws the umbrella back into the church container. Do the same thing, bro. And you will find yourself having a better life than ever before.